Hey guys, it's your pal Victor here, uh, continuing our coverage here on Cult Classics and Cult Following of the uh, 2021 Sundance Film Festival. And right now we are reviewing the last movie of day one, which is their Midnight Selection, which is the movie Knocking, which is directed by Frida Kempf. Um, and, uh, you know, when I read the description of this movie, it's like this woman, she's gone through some trauma and she's come out of it and now she's living in an apartment. She hears this knocking, which is sustaining and kind of keeping her awake. Like, oh, it's got kind of like an Edgar Allan Poe kind of quality to it. Um, I still don't really know a hundred percent how I feel about this movie. I will say the woman, uh... Molly, she's played by this actress, Cecilia Miloco, and she does a great job of carrying this movie uh, with her face, her expressions. She gives an excellent performance throughout. I feel like she is let down by the nebulous nature of this film's narrative. Um, it A lot of it is about the idea of um, she's mentally ill, and, um, well, basically, what the basic narrative we're given is she has a girlfriend, they're on the beach, something happens to the girlfriend, we have to assume she drowned, and she spent a lot of time in a mental hospital trying to deal with this. She gets out, and, you know, she's very fragile, and she finds an apartment in the city, and... In this apartment, she's hearing this knocking, which becomes incessant. She starts to become like a sense of, she hears a woman screaming. Um, there's blood kind of dripping on the walls. Um, and she's trying to find, make sense of it. Is it Morse code? What's going on? And the more she calls like 211, which is the equivalent of 911, they think she's lying because she's mentally ill. People don't believe her because she's a woman. So it's a commentary on gaslighting uh, women and the mentally ill. But is there really something going on on that floor? There might be. Um, and it seems like there is. And then we get this sort of nebulous ending that kind of suggests like maybe it was her all along. And it left me sort of confused and kind of like uh you know like there's definitely Kafka-esque ele and Lynchian elements here um you know and, and it's like weird when I'm watching this and like half most of this movie feels like unha unhappy Amelie you know and I'm like dude that that's such a sad reduction but it almost does feel that way um but you know, it's almost like people are too against her. And I get that that's also how it is in society sometimes, but also at the same time, um, when you're not given something to really anchor you to in terms of narrative, it's hard to get invested in the movie. I have this problem with latter day David Lynch films, like, you know, like Inland Empire, I, I don't care for because I can't latch on to anything, you know? And this movie, it's like, you know, I'm invested in her as a character. She's she's clearly had a loss, um, you know, and I want to cheer for her, you know, because we see these little things like this bird who visits her and then it dies and she makes a point of burying it, you know. But, like, everyone, you know, like, oh, her, her doctor's not a doctor. She's imagining him. It's kind of, so did she, was she even in a psychiatric ward? You know, it's just, it's, there's not enough concrete. And it makes it hard to um get, like, an investment in the film on that level beyond wanting bad things to stop happening to a sad person. And that's kind of rough. And then, you know, um, you know, there, there's, there's really strong aspects to this movie, but man, that it, it's just hard, you know, cause I kind of going back and forth on it. You know, there's definitely this like Kafka-esque Lynch element that I enjoy in it. But at the same time, you know, uh, the ending, you know, it's kind of like, you know, it's a Joan of Arc kind of thing. You know, there's a, you know, Joan of Arc was burned at the stake, a fire plays into it, and it's like, 
you know, fires and madness. And then it's like, um, you know, there's an element of like Darren Aronofsky's pie in here. Like, you know, what will madness drive you to, you know? And that's kind of just like, okay, I could see that. Um, but yeah, uh, overall I, I, I did, I wanted to like it as much as I did censor and I didn't, and that's kind of a bummer, but it's still, a, you know, an interesting movie. Um, I don't know that I would go out of my way to see it. Um, but definitely interesting. If it ends up on Shutter or something, I would say it's worth a watch, you know, but those are my thoughts. Um, more to come tomorrow. Uh, in case you enjoy these reviews, we have more to come here on cultfalling.co, cult classics, the YouTube channel. So tune in, stay tuned, give us a like, give us a share, and thanks for tuning in, guys. Again, we appreciate it, and see you soon. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.